So, Emmanuel Ocho is a successful black man, and he has a YouTube channel with like half a million subscribers, but he is still complaining. Um, he says, here's how you can make your family feel uncomfortable around the holidays. One thing is to talk about the difference between black income, household income, versus white household income. And he's saying that black people make a whole lot less than white people. And that's bad. And you should do something about it. As a white person, he literally is addressing white people in this video. You should feel bad. You should do something about it. Because black people make less money. Now, isn't it up to black people to make their own income? Isn't it up to black people to um, decide to have fewer children if they can't afford them, to wait to have children until they're in a better financial position? I mean, why is this something that we have to talk to white people about? Why is that their problem? Another thing he was talking about is black names. And I've talked about this before. I get a lot of hate for this, but... You know, if, if black people know that these names are going to get their kids less employable, if you know that by naming your kid Shay Andre, they're going to have less of a chance, why would you do it? Why would you continue to do it? He said this is a study. You can go and look it up. So if we are all aware of this study, why do we keep doing it? Why do we keep making up these stupid fucking names? Huh? And hey, you know what? White people are doing it too now. I've got some white friends that have lost their ever-loving minds with what they're naming their children. And I think they're going to see a backlash too. I don't think this is just exclusive to black people. It's just that we've been making up stupid names for longer. But seriously... I mean, <laughs> white people are losing the plot, too, with the names. Everybody's losing their mind with the baby names. Ugh. So, another problem that he had is that racism still exists, and it's a big old problem, and that, you know, you need to worry about it. So, uh... I'm not sure why we need to worry about that. Why do we need to worry about racism? This lighting is weird. Emmanuel also says that, you know, racism still exists. Shouldn't have to tell us that. So we should all be really worried that people are racist. Who cares? Who cares? There's a lot of people I don't like just because no good reason I just don't like them and no one's going to make me like them why do we keep doing this Emmanuel Emmanuel you're a big old strapping black dude who is very successful he just wrote a bestseller he's got a YouTube channel that doesn't even have that many videos on it and he's making bank and Still, he wants us to feel sorry for black people. If Emmanuel was to go jogging down the street in a suburban neighborhood, he'd probably get panties thrown at him. But he, he wants us to feel sorry for him. He wants us to feel sorry for black people instead of saying, hey, here are a few things that I did to help myself, and I would love for you to try them. Okay, not to be an asshole, but there is a homeless white person walking right there. He's got a grocery cart. Seems to be white. Yeah, I mean, but they're not making videos complaining. Why is it that black people are doing that? I'm literally looking at three homeless white people right now. <laughs> and they're not... They're not even asking for money, thank God. But seriously, you know, Emmanuel's obviously in the club 
you know, he's making a bunch of hand gestures. You don't really get, you know, just pumped up on YouTube, giving a book deal, all that stuff without being in the club. So he's been given a script, he reads a script, and he really panders to the narrative that black people are the little retards and they can't do for themselves and they need all this help from you, Whitey. Stop worrying about yourself. Worry about black people because black people are just so goddamn helpless and stupid. You hear how that sounds? But yet, this is, this is what we're supposed to believe. <sighs> Emmanuel. Emmanuel Ocho. Arco. Is he, is he African? I'm starting to think now that Emmanuel may be African. Whoa. We really don't like for Africans to give input into black matters. We don't see it. us as all one people, so. You might wanna think about that, Emmanuel. Why don't you start being grateful for what you have in your life and start helping black people to feel empowered to do the same thing that you do. You have made a success of yourself. <laughs> it's really kind of unethical what you're doing now. People think I pander to white people, but you are pandering to white guilt. And I think that is disgusting. I really do, because white people don't have anything to feel guilty for. You know, everybody is sitting here trying to make it in this world, and you want them to feel bad because they had more presence than someone else. Maybe Luc Lucretia shouldn't have had four kids with four different dads. Maybe no one should have four kids with four different dads. Yeah, I would say that no one should. So why not put this on the, the person, not on society? What is society supposed to do? Why do we keep needing to have these conversations that don't go anywhere because they don't put the responsibility on the individual? You say to a whole group of people, you know, you're supposed to fix black people. Oh, yes. He was talking about how black people are suffering from PTSD. Trust me, that is coming from the black household. I know all about it. PTSD is coming from um, a really disturbed childhood. And that's nothing to do with white people. It's not white people shooting up the black neighborhood. It's other black people. And it's fucked up that you leave that out. I see you, Emmanuel. Thank you so much to everyone who subscribes to my channel. Thank you for coming back. I really appreciate all of my Patreons. Thank you to everyone who just emails me and reaches out to me. And I really, really appreciate you guys. I hope you had a nice Christmas. I hope you have a happy new year. I'll be seeing you soon.